Hello from the team behind Wonderware Online. In this short snippet, we'll show you how to create and save your own personal dashboard. Uh, at the moment, as you can see, I've got two dashboards here, but uh, we'll create a new dashboard called New York Weather. So, uh, as a prerequisite, I hope you've seen our other video about how to create and save your own personal content. You need to be able to do this. In a previous video, we created this tile called New York Weather Statistics. Um, we need to have these tiles before we can set up a dashboard because having a dashboard with one tile isn't very useful. So what we'll do is we'll create another piece of content that will give me the uh, temperature in New York over the last seven days. So temperature should be Fahrenheit. Let's go and make sure we only pick the, the current temperature like that. We we'll create a line chart switch it over to seven days and that should be about right okay 16 degrees Fahrenheit wow it got pretty cold so let's save that let's uh, be a bit consistent let's call it New York temperature let's make sure we add some keywords now this is very important if you are going to create your own dashboards this is the real trick you need to make sure that you give appropriate keywords to your content because that is the basis of how we create dashboards. So let's save that. Okay, there we go, saved. Now what we do is we go back to the home page. So now I have two pieces of content in the system, both with the keywords weather and New York. So what I should be able to do, here's the temperature, here's the statistics. What, in order to create a dashboard, what I do is I, I do a search for my keywords. Let me start off by just searching for New York. Well, actually, there you go. Just when I started typing new, I didn't have to type New York. You can see that it's already finding keywords with New York. And what I do is I click on the keyword, click here, and it will automatically generate a dashboard which made, is made up of these tiles that have a matching keyword of, uh, of New York. Uh, if I wanted to be a bit more precise, I uh, should have been able to type weather and New York. There we go, weather and New York. And this is the way I can be a little bit smarter about combining keywords and slicing and dicing my content to get exactly the right combination of tiles that I want. So here it is, here's my dashboard and uh, just like with normal content, I save it for later. So uh, weather uh, New York dashboard, something like that will do for now. I don't put keywords on dashboards because uh, it doesn't make too much sense. And uh, there we go, once it's saved, again, the usual ways apply. I can find the, I can find the dashboard of my recent list, there it is. I can search for it here, if I, uh, no, I spelt it with a space this time, so. Uh, if I go to my saved content, maybe a little bit more precise. Let's see, saved content with New York. There it is, New York dashboard. Uh, and of course I have my dashboards panel here. And whether New York dashboard, it's currently set as private, only uh, visible to me. And there it is, there is my personal dashboard for New York weather. If uh, I want to look at it on a big display, I can click this full screen button and it'll get rid of the, uh, the toolbars. And there it is. Uh, very basic steps, out of the box dashboards. It's that simple.